Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on the ColourPop Cosmetics NYX The Nice Super Shock Set. Now this set contains four limited edition shades for the holiday season and I have created an eye look using them here today. And if you'd like full details on this eye look, I'm going to have them posted on my Instagram. And if any of you would like a tutorial on this look, I would be happy to show you because it's a really quick look. That's why I love these shadows. So I'm going to have all of that. So if, you, if enough of you request it, I promise I'll do it. The NYX The Nice set comes in a box like this. I have all the shadows taken out already, so I'm going to show you them shortly. Now, it does come with four shadows, but before I get into the details of what I think about them and the swatches and everything, I just want to give you a few notes about the formula. The formula is very similar to the Electric Cool eyeshadows from MAC Cosmetics. Um, for a while, I had compared them to the Color Tattoo from Maybelline or the Paint Pot from MAC, they, and they still kind of remind me of that in that they set, and once they set, they don't budge. But they also kind of remind me of the Electric Cool because of how um, the packaging and how they apply that kind of silicone like feeling. So it's kind of like a cross between the two, but I would lean more with Electric Cool. But if you've never tried Electric Cool and you're wondering, well, what can what can I compare it to? Uh, you can compare it to a Maybelline color tattoo. Just it's not as creamy and it's a little bit more um, highly pigmented, if that makes sense. But once it's on, it's on, it stays put, easy to blend, and all the glitter that you see um, actually transfers to the lid. With that being said, let's look at the first shade. The first shade is Glitterati. The first shade is Glitterati. Now, after um, after you use these, you're going to want to close them up really, really tight because if they dry out, then they are not usable anymore. Very similar, like I said, to the Electric Cool and also to the MAC Paint Pot and also to Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is the same kind of thing. You want to keep it really closed shut and you want to store them standing up because sometimes the product slides down. So. Here is Glitterati. This is a beautiful, highly metallic shade. Very pretty. I'm going to swatch it up for you guys live. So I smoothed my finger around three times. Now you can use your finger to apply the shade or you can use a very dense bl brush. I prefer to use a dense brush because I don't want to contaminate my shadow. So there you go. You can see it has a slight color shift to it, but it's very pr pretty. It has slight shimmer glitter in it. Now, um, what I was saying is I don't... And you can see the glitter on my finger here, too. You can see very, very pretty. Um, now, I personally don't like using my fingers to apply cosmetics because I feel like you're, you can contaminate the shadow more easily with your finger because your hands are more prone to bacteria. So make sure if you're applying this with your hands that you are washing your hands and disinfecting your hands. I mean, it's kind of common sense, but just putting it out there before you use this product. Otherwise, use a very dense flat brush when applying these. Apply it first and then blend it out with a softer, fluffier brush. I find that I have the best experience when I'm applying it in that manner. The next shade is Lala. Lala is described as an ultra metallic shade. Now their metallic shades are so smooth. If you're wondering, um, they're kind of like a hybrid between a cream and a shadow. But this one, the ultra metallics and metallics in general, I find them to be even more creamy. Very, very, very pigmented. You do not need a lot of this product when applying it. So here is just a quick little, so here I have just a quick little bit on my finger and you can see how metallic it is. Very metallic. Now to be honest, I loved this at full opacity, but I also love this shade blended out. I blended this out on my lid today as a transitional shade. I applied it under, um, under roulette, which I'm going to show you in a second. And I blended it up towards my crease and kind of diminished just a little bit of the metallic sheen to it by thoroughly blending it out and I kind of like that look it's a very soft copper shade but if you apply it full on you get that super metallic look so I like how versatile it is next up is hotty toddy pressed pigment this is a super shock pressed pigment and it's a beautiful red so this is a similar red shade to the one that's in the permanent range however this is more of like a raspberry leaning red um, and it does have a slight red shimmer glitter in it so if you're wondering how does this compare to the permanent red just send me a message direct message on instagram I'll be happy to do a comparison swatch for you or leave me a comment below with your email and i'll be sure to send you an email with the comparison swatch and here it is swatched on my hand very pigmented so if you were looking for a very pigmented holiday raspberry leaning red this would be it very very pretty you can see that shimmer there and it translate quite well translate and you can see once i've moved the shadow on here you can see more of the glitter shimmer very pretty 
The next shade is Roulette. This is a matte super shock shadow and it is their only true black matte. They do have another black in the permanent collection but it's not a matte like this. This doesn't have any shimmer. This is just a straight up black matte. And this shade is really versatile. Very versatile. I'm going to talk about that in a minute but let me swatch it up up here. So you have a nice deep black matte cream shadow. Um, very pigment. Now what I loved about Relay was that you can use it as a liner because it sets down and it doesn't budge. You can use it to do a smoky eye, you can use it as a crease shade, and it really blends out well. Now what I loved most about it was that when I was blending it out, because of the nature of these shadows, that when you first apply them they're very very pigmented, and then you can blend them out and shear them out, I loved how easy it was to shear this shade out. It acts like a powder once it's on your face, and then once it's on, you know, it's not really going anywhere. It's there, it's lasting all day without a primer, without a base. And a lot of black shadows, which this is absolutely a pet peeve of mine, they fall onto your cheeks, you get fallout, and even if it's just a little bit, it can ruin your entire makeup look. I was able to do underneath my eye, I applied it with a brush and then I used a smudge brush to smudge it out under my eye. And I've had this on for a few hours now and it hasn't raccooned on me and I'm very appreciative of that because a lot of shadows, black shadows, um, if you don't prime them collect cor correctly or you don't apply them correctly, you can get that raccoon look, you can have it on your cheeks, like I said, very messy. This is a matte black that is not going to give you any mess or any fuss, it's going to stay where you put it. It and it's not going to move. So once you've blended it out, once it dries perf once it dries down, you don't have to worry. In terms of creasing, I experienced no cre creasing with these shadows. Um, I know some of you have said that if you have oily eyelids, it creases a little bit. So I would suggest applying a translucent matte powder to your lids before applying this. That'll help maybe absorb a little of the oil. But you really don't need to prime your eyes. When the with these, actually priming your eyes kind of diminishes how they look, I've found. So don't prime your eyes. You don't have to worry about putting anything else on. You can apply these with the blender brush for a diffuse look or you can apply them with a flat dense brush or a liner brush or whatever kind of brush you have that's dense. As long as it's dense, you're going to get optimal look and then like I said, you can always blend it out with a, a, a blender brush or, or a smudge brush, whichever kind of brush you have. A few more notes about this product. These, these shadows are waterproof, they are smudge proof once set, and they will last about 8 to 12 hours depending on how you have applied them. Even if the red shade might not get much use for you, from you, I think you should pick it up just for Glitterati and Roulette alone. Glitterati is that perfect glitter shadow that you don't have to worry about layering too much on. Personally, when I did my look today, I did layer just a little bit of Gaudi from LA Splash on over it, but it was more like an accent to add just that extra dimension, but you really, you don't even need it because of how well the glitter and shimmer really transfers to your lid. They're, they don't feel grainy on the lid, they don't feel gritty on the lid. When you have these on your lid you don't worry about actually feeling the product on your lid it really doesn't feel heavy you don't really feel like it's there it's a very light product now I said that Roulette could be used as a liner in fact all of these shadows can be used as a liner so if you've had an experience with LA um, if you've had an experience with color pop cosmetics before just know that all of their shadows can be used as liners they're very versatile overall um, with that being said I think this is a phenomenal holiday set it's only $20 so it's really affordable all of their shadows on their website are $5 each and um, so this stays true to that price point it's four shadows at $5 each in a set so you you're getting four limited edition shades for $20, which is really affordable. Um, they do have free shipping at $30, so if you purchase, say, a lipstick and a lip liner, there you go, free shipping, and you have your whole holiday look right there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have some arm swatches at the end, just so you can see what all of the swatches look like up close in natural light, so you don't have to worry about you know, pausing the video to try and see what I'm doing on my hand. This is just for you to see a live demonstration of how they apply, like their PCD, like, so you know how much I'm putting on, you know, so you know I'm not like layering it up and trying to trick you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my fashion and beauty blog and follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.